Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be playing Franbo Chapter 3, Part 3. Hopefully this is the end of Chapter 3. This chapter has been very long. Oop, okay, just tried to... Okay, couldn't remember where we were at first. And this sounds very loud. Let me turn it down a bit. Alright, those page turning is so loud. Alright, cool. I gotta remember how to play. <laughs> it's been a while. Let's say hi to this pretty dragonfly. Hello, sir. What are you doing? Ah, I'm looking for my special book. Why are you on a ladder? Okay. Why are you on a ladder? Oh, sorry to ask, but why are you standing on a ladder? You have wings. Ah, because the ladder was made to be used, of course. What if I needed it? But what if I needed to use it? Then you should wait your turn. <laughs> but what if it's an emergency and I can't wait that much? Then you should have arrived earlier than me. Sorry, but I have to keep looking. Why is she so rude? <laughs> talk to the carrot. Hello. Oh, hello. Why aren't you reading? Oh, uh, because I need to find a special book first. Ah, special books are very nice. This one I'm reading is also very special. Oh, that's great. Well, I'll keep searching for my special book then. Hello. What are you reading? A book with many letters. Sometimes I think some letters look very scary. Maybe you should read something else. Uh, something with uh, many pictures instead. Oh, yes. Some other day, dear. Now, if you don't mind. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Alright, let's talk to our kitty. Oh, have you seen kitty? Oh, have you seen kitty? There's, There are many books in here. Indeed, my darling. I see them all around. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is grand. It must be... Okay, goodbye. <laughs> uh... Okay. Yes, one, two, and three are four. Remember... Hmm, I rem have to remember them. What? Remember what? I don't... Oh. Oh no. What is all this? Uh. So. Uh. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Oh, numbers. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, what are these? 11. Is it all numbers? 10. Oh, so 20. Okay. 20, 30, 40? Maybe? Alright. I, I don't know. that 21 uh, right 21 am I supposed to go back and forth for this it seems that I have to fill these holes with numbers okay
Maybe there's a book or something I can find. I see so many books. I don't think the Great Wizard's book is on the shelves. No? So there's nothing else I can... Blah, 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 blah. I don't remember what I have in here, so... I never looked at this. Oh. One of the thousand. I found myself hunting the truth, but finding the unexpected. I found what my senses couldn't show me. I found the truth that relies silently, relies silently in the unknown. My name is Leon. I'm currently 92 years old and living alone in a little house far away from the city. I have to admit, I never was fond of jewelry, houses, or clothing. Since childhood, I always talked to animals, plants, and insects, and even um, even though I never got a response, I never quit. If you are reading this, maybe it's because you are looking for answers. Maybe you can see things that others can't. Or you can feel what others avoid. You can listen to the silence and become one with everything. Mr. Leon is old and he seems sad. Hmm. Let's see what he wrote. Ooh. Uh, December 17th, 1875. I can't stop it. I can't control it. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the message, the screaming, all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. cry because it hurts. I had a vision. It's still breathing fear. I'm still breathing fear. I feel at war with my own mind. One of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. Its name is Remor, Prince of Darkness from the fifth reality. It talked to me, played with me, and showed me all the terrors. It told me that I was the key to its existence. Inside my head, the stone of wisdom inside my head. Whoa. I can see myself around the other me. Tell tell me lies, talks about all the pain and suffering in my life. The other, si the other me wants me to commit suicide. He smiles while pronouncing the words, kill yourself, and I have tried hypnotized by his words but there is always something saving me at the end it must be the love to live how long is this book I meet a shadow for the first time it talked to me their race is called the Kamalas Kam Kamalas they hunt weakness and pain I asked it about the possession of human bodies and it said we are born and feed from fear and the uncontrolled illness of human mind we are invisible to them but our existence grabs every single living cell of the body until the end after that it started raining and it walked away from me leaving a black oily path after it I believe water may purify them After seeing the Kamalas reacting to water, I thought of trying a little experiment. Last night I encountered something amazing. The Kamalas transform into a new kind of creature when exposed to water. Oh. The metamorphosis was painful to watch. After the terrible screaming, the Kamalas calmed down and started to cry on the ground. It felt like the pain was disappearing. After a few minutes, a bright and peaceful being was rising in front of me. Oh, like those other guys. It felt like the bright creature could read my thoughts. I thank you for wa waking me up. I was suffering. I must go where I belong. Etherst Etherst awaits. All the the I can't. Valcoras. Valocas must go there after waking up. If you wish to see the light, come with me. You have the key, it said. I didn't answer. After a while, it faded away. Hmm. I don't understand the drawing. 
Uh, okay. I was reading my writings to see if I'm missing something. I recall more from the fifth reality. If there is a fifth reality, there must be at least four more. I was thinking that Ethersa may not be a city in this world, but a reality by itself. I wish all the answers came to me. I deeply regret the fact that I didn't accept the Voloka's invitation. Since I saw the Volokas, I keep seeing this diagram spinning in my head in a single sentence. Time is the rhythm of your perception. Time is the rhythm of your perception. Well, that's the five realities, I would assume. I got a visit from my son Brian. I told him about the things that I've seen, but he didn't want it. he didn't want it. He didn't want to hear and left. I don't blame him. I understand that the reality presented before my eyes is invisible to most of people. I wish I could find a friend just like me because my son, he thinks I'm insane. My body and mind are beginning to understand the pattern. Life becomes quite easy to control when you cut all social laws and only apply our reality laws because they are not only laws, but also behaviors, chemical behaviors, natural laws. Without those behaviors, without those laws, we, couldn't, we wouldn't exist. Sometimes I wish to be a leaf on the ground, calm while dying. <gasps> Look who it is. Last night after the storm, a huge creature visited my garden for a few seconds and then disappeared. I found a st strange bottle with a pink liquid inside in the same spot the creature landed. I can't fully understand the contents of the bottle. I have found red blood cells in it and bacteria not yet recognized. Bacteria seems to get rid of unusual behaviors in any kind of living creature. I poured some of the pink liquid on a dying plant, and it bloomed after a few minutes. I cut my finger to test the liquid with human tissue, and it cured it after a few seconds. This bacteria may work as platelets and white blood cells, but, all, but at a very high speed. I dream of thousands of black cats surrounding my house, big yellow eyes staring at my, uh, staring at my sleep. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> Beings in the thirst are varied, from roots to giant insects. Roots are the first in this reality. Insects came later. I learned their language and numerology. <gasps> Ooh, words. <laughs> Alphabet. Um, the great below goes is the beginning of the first reality, primitive light. Voloka's shield. The Voloka's body structure is quite different from ours. They are made out of photons and s sound waves. They're also both male and female. When the youngest reach age that number, <laughs> they are cr crowned with the shield. Ah, so the ones that have this shield are old. VR, creation of the of the great Volokas, king of Thirsta, second reality life. Being in a Thirsta feels like becoming what you can't understand on earth. It's where leaves sing while falling off the trees, and the water whispers its wisdom while you drink it. That sounds nice. Oh. Pandora, creation of the five realms of essential existence resides in the human world where uh, human world third reality earth mars and jupiter consciousness practice of will oh my god how many um the end of the vibration when both ends of the opposites are the same degree resides in third and fourth reality death sensors seed that's what I'm gonna say it's called. Mabuka <laughs> is the end of the light of light. Ooh. 
Should I be reading all this yet? I feel like this is spoiler. Mother Madu Mabuka is letting me go. I've spent 15 days here in Mabuka's den and I'm tired. I don't need to hide from the pain anymore because it's part of me. It feels like love is everywhere and is in everything. I enjoy crying. I enjoy laughing. I enjoy being alive. Oh yo 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 yo. Getting ready for the journey back home, Mabuka sent me to the endless limits of Mabuka's den, and I'm waiting for the... Should I be reading this? I feel like it's a spoiler. <laughs> Luciferians? I had to become friends with them, or to be more precise, become one of them. Luciferians gather in Philomet filaments. That's why they look like they are growing hair and the big face is mostly for communication purposes and to scare their predators. I hope my body can survive the journey. Oh, we're at the end. Uh, gravity collects particles to create new ones. It's a, a creative force and with cure Creativity evolution is inevitable. What is this? The drawing to the left looks like a antenna. Oh no, somebody ripped out the rest of the book. I'll never know what happened to Mr. Leon. Okay. Wowie. Now let me figure out. How am I supposed to know what, like, should I know of a number? Is that one? Uh, one, two, three. Oh, so that's one. That's that's two, and this is three. So I, don't, I still don't know what I'm doing, but one, one, two. It's the E looking one. E. Um. Alright, so let's see. I'm probably doing this completely wrong, but I'm just gonna guess here. It's one plus two plus three plus four. Which one was ten? Ten. I don't know. What I'm supposed to do here. Let's think. All right. Hmm. One, one, two, three. I 
felt like I was onto something. One, one, two, three. So, I don't... Wait a minute. One, one... Wait a minute. One, one, two, three. Isn't that the... The Fibonacci sequence? The start of it? One, 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 two, three. Three. What is it? Hold on. I'm about to look that up. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's zero. One, one, two, three, five, eight. Okay. Wait a minute. Alright. One, one. So, okay. <laughs> if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But whatever. It seems right. So, one, one, two, three. So this one, no, but yes, this one. Uh, one more, one, one, two, three, five, and then the next one is eight. What's number eight? Eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The two little dingy, the e with the two. E with the two. Oh, uh, uh, what? What just happened? Oh, I did not know what happened there. Alright, so then... Alright, so then... This is wrong. So it's... 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, and... What is the next number? Is it 13? 13, 21? What's 13? Whoa, do we even have a 13 on here? Do I have to figure out what the 13 is? Is it 10? Got it. Well, maybe. So it's this one. <gasps> yes! Oh, I did it! Uh, Alright. Let's pull that lever. What the? I did turn the lever. Does nothing happen? Does it have to be a different season? Oh! <laughs> he scared me! That must be the wizard's book. I can't reach it. How typical. There's always something to climb on. That must be the way- oh, okay. Now let me take the ladder. There we go. That- I love it. Woohoo! Hee hee. Now let's examine it. Oh. Those look interesting. I can't read the text though. Alright. I recognize the four seasons. Oh, that. Okay. Woo! Hey, stop that. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Oh, you sleeping? Oh, okay. I wanted to talk to him, but he's sleeping. Alright, let's get back to the wizard. That sound scared me. I thought something bad was gonna happen. Uh, 
Was that always there? Press the eyeball. Like, why aren't we going anywhere, kitty? I do. Oh, I do wonder how we figured that out, but I guess not now. And I don't know how we get in there. Oh. Um. What was he in? Winter. What else does he have for us to do? Sir, here's your book. It was inside the mu musical box. I saw the doll. Hee <laughs> hee. The it word lock. That sounds like fun. Thank you for the book. This certainly makes me remember many things. Many, many things. And now what? There are two things left on the star. Yes, fish in the water. Fish, fish swimming free. Go back, little fish, go back home. Wow, sir, you woke up the fish. Yes, because I remembered how to do it. Isn't it beautiful? That's magical, sir. Can you do that with other beings, like humans? Of course, but only if the circumstances are positive. But the circumstances are often not positive. I see, sir. Hmm, so we need to find the missing stones. Yes. The fish told me that my shoes are on the feet of the amazing dancer. Do you know where this dancer could be? I have no idea. Uh, actually, I think I know. I'll go see. Uh, okay. Bye. Uh, I I do think I know, and I'm assuming it'll be. Well, this is not the dancer. I was thinking here. Hmm. Thinking there's a dancer in there. Hello again. Did you find your special ticket yet? The show is about to begin. Uh, my special ticket? No? How do I get the special ticket? <laughs> I don't know where to get the ticket. Ha. Huh. Let me think. Let me think. I'm just seeing if anything changes. Touch this? Oh, for God's sakes. Oh, oh, there was a hole behind the firewood. This whole time! You, go in there. Oh, kitty, I wonder how in the whole world will we get the dancer's shoes? We'll figure it out. Let's go to the bar to see. I could have just talked to him, but whatever. Dude, go in here. 
Come on, kitty, go inside. And remember, I need a ticket to get in, too. So maybe we can take somebody else's? But I don't want to steal. We'll just borrow it, kitty. We can give it back later, alright? Mm-hmm. Alright. Yay! Oh, okay. Is there anyone here? Oh, maybe I have to change the seasons. Oh! Oh, there's the ticket. How the heck am I gonna get it? Mm. Oh! Shoes! Oh! Oh! Meow! <laughs> I guess that is a ticket. I should take it. Alright. Woo! Alright, let's get out of here. I have the ticket. I have it. You are incredible, Kitty. I love you so much. Now we can go inside. Oh my goodness gracious. Who would have thunk? Alright. Look, sir. It seems that a ticket found a way... I'm sorry, I'm so distracted because the rain in the game and I look over to the window and it's like raining the same way. Anywho. Look, sir. It seems that a ticket found a way to get into my hands. What? Let me see it. Hmm. This can't be right. It just can't. I already let someone in with the ticket. You ring many mysteries, little lady. Huh? But... How can you know it was somebody else's ticket? The symbols are correct, but look at the handwriting. This belongs to someone much older than you. I can see it. Alright then, is there any chance I can get inside? I mean, is it possible? When you have your own ticket, yet, yeah, little lady, you are more than welcome. What? So... Mother... Oh, come on. <laughs> Look, sir, I think this is my own ticket. Hmm, oh, I see, but you simply drew... <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Very clever, only little lady. Well, I guess I can let you go in. Oh, wow, really? You could have just let me in before. Thank you, sir. Could have just let me in the whole time. Now how can I get those shoes? Hello, sir. I need your shoes. Why won't you answer me, please? He is concentrating, I think. Ugh. Gosh. Thank you. I used my power and got teleported out. So I get teleported out regardless. Alright. Hmm. Oh. 
He's a... Hello, dancer, mister. I really need to take your shoes. And why is this? The shoes belong to the dancer. I'm a dancer, and I need them too. Uh, dance with the wizard. Oh, I'm sorry, what did you just say? I want your shoes. You want what? A little lemonade? You seem to be a little tense. <laughs> no, sir, I don't want lemonade. Where did you get your shoes from? Hmm, you should drink a little lemonade, at least to drown your thirst. Sir, let me explain. I need your shoes. The wizard needs them. Oh, but that's impossible. I can't give you my shoes. The only way to get my shoes is to take them from me. And as you see now, I'm standing on them. So it's impossible. But if you lift your feet, I could take them. Hmm. I can't... It can't be done. Only the... Only the very day when both of my feet are up in the air... Only then can my shoes be taken. Otherwise, they will stand forever. Hmm, I see. Well, thank you. Bye. I am annoyed. <laughs> so... Does he jump in the air? running a lot outside for real how the heck do I get his shoes take him take him kitty I have to do something to trick the dancer oh I heard a creature here talking about layered realities time and such rhythm and seasons are important to this land everything is connected I see so I think so I, I have to think that all time and space matters and rhythm, of course. Hello. Hello, would you like an autograph? Er, uh, not really. What is the trumpeter doing, sir? Uh, he's fixing the piano. The rhythm must be perfect so we can start the show. Ah, oh, I see. Thank you. Hello, miss. Are you having a great time? Have you hit see my ticket? Hmm, I think I, um, I have to go. <laughs> I wonder if these kinds of insects are in my garden. If I go home, I will make a little house for all the insects. Never thought they actually have a life. No more smashing insects for me, anyways. Oh, I think there's an actual storm outside right now. Oh, wow. Thunder and lightning. Probably not the best time to be on the computer. <laughs> Alright. Um. Uh, hello. Hello, how are you? Fine. Do you know by chance a certain Mr. Antonio, the great, uh, the greatest? Of course, he was a huge trumpeter a few years ago. My mother loved his music. Oh, so he was real. I saw him in the human world. He is very old now. Really? Wow. The human world? Well, you know, when we grow old, we all go to visit other realities to see if we've missed something. Oh, that's why he was there in my reality. We humans don't do that, I think. Oh, it's quite fun. I love to get letters from my mother. She tells me many things. Hee <laughs> hee, yes. It does sound fun. I have to keep going. I Have a nice day. I'm just going to talk to all of them. Hmm, I wonder what kind of insect he is. Must be something that we haven't yet discovered or something. I don't want to talk to him. But that's rude. 
Well, a lady drinking lemonade all by herself. Maybe she is expecting somebody, or maybe not. Anyway, I hope she's fine. Hello. Oh, hello, you came. How nice. Are you enjoying the show? Yes, very much, but I need the shoes of the dancer, and I don't know how to get them. Haha, <laughs> so you like to dance? He's a very good dancer. I've never seen him fall. Hmm. So he is, like, the very best dancer of the world? The world. I would say the universe. He always follows the rhythm. I see. Well, thank you. I have to go. Bye. I never saw a huge moth. I, it, bleh, I won't bother it. Okay. Oh, Vlock is a uh, mask. The one... Okay, bye. I just... I can't read or do anything. So... Maybe I have to do something with the, um... The rhythm. Don't bother them. Alright, I'm gonna try something else. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll see. I want to go back here. I think I was right the first time. I did red and yellow to make it go fast, right? Okay. Then I skip. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. Give me your shoes. Give me your shoes. <laughs> Yoink. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm out. Let's go, cat. Before we get in trouble. Oh my goodness. Winter. Let's go see the wizard. The wonderful wizard of Oz. I got your shoes. Sir, sir, I have shoes. They are very pretty. Look! Whoa, you did it! You really have an extraordinary machine inside your head. Thank you, sir. Now let's do the last one so I can go home. The last one, air. Hmm, I recognize this feather. It belongs to Blantris. Yes, I saw him very injured. Hmm, he will be fine. He has the pink water. That can fix everything. Yes, that's true. Well, what do we do with the feather? Hee <laughs> hee, go visit the old Velocus mechanical doll. My wand will be there. I, I have to finish my rabbit science. I think I have the answer. Oh, okay, sir. I'll bring back your wand. Uh, I'll bring it back. Or whatever I was saying. Okay, so I have to visit there and his wand is there. And I have not been able to figure out that damn thing. So, oh, there it is. Can I have it? I see the wand. Let's see how this works. Uh, okay. Oh, nope. Uh -uh. If it matters, oh. if it matters, what uh, season it is? Can I can I have it?
No. How did I? <gasps> I did it. <laughs> I did it. Okay, let's go back. I don't even know how I did it, guys. I really don't, but I'm very happy. This chapter has been so long. <laughs> I've loved it, though. But, man. Alright, so we'll give you... This. Here's your bond, Sir Wizard. Oh, magnificent. Splendid. You did it. Really? But where are the stones? Can I borrow them? I can lend you the stones. These stones are very, very special. What I can do is place the stones on the locks at the door, but you... You are the only one who can turn the key and actually open the door. Oh, I see. The king told me he would show me where the door is. Ah, then we should go and talk with him, don't you think? Hmm, wait, I suspect that you can't return home looking like a tree. Oh, I almost forgot, yes. You're right. Can you bring my human body back? Yes, I can. This is exciting. This is exciting. I haven't done this in hundreds of years. Let's make a human, yes? Give me your clothing. I need to smell it. <laughs> Here, sir, my clothing. Hmm, let me smell this. Sniff. This can work. We will make a human. Oh, this is so exciting. Good. Now we go to the center of the star of a thirsta. And think about your body, your head, your leg, and the other leg. And your arm, both of them. Now concentrate. Randomly selected elements. Find your path to your true essence. Become Fran the human now. Are you alright? Uh, what happened? Is it done? Oh wow, thank you so much sir. You really are a great wizard. Yes, that's my name, Great Wizard, because of the greatness. <laughs> hmm, I think we have to go to the king now, so he can show me the door. Yes, I, I'll be right there. I have to finish something. I'll be... I'll be there. Go now. Alright, let's go, kitty. Oh, oh hit, gotta hit the eyeball. Forgot. Let's go. Let's go. Everything is fine. Oh my god. It feels like heaven. What are you? Leave Mr. Midnight alone. Is your head playing with you again? Can't you see yourself in the mirror? I'm not you. I'm not. Let Mr. Midnight go. Now. We kill the traitors because that's what we... That's what he is, Fran. Don't you see? My kitty is not a traitor. He promised me to be by my side. He promised. As your mommy and daddy did? Who promised to take good care of you? Wake up, Fran. You are surrounded by traitors. Leave me alone. Leave my friend alone. I'm the only one you have, Fran. I'm the one who's always by your side. Now let's get rid of this traitor, huh? Or, uh? What do you say? Let's be happy. 
Let's be very, very happy together. <gasps> go away, go away, it wasn't me. Oh. Bran, what's wrong? Why are you crying? I'm crazy, sir. I'm totally crazy. The doctors were right. But you're not crazy. I'm very sorry that you feel that way. You should be happy now. You found the stones and you became human again. That is very great indeed. My dear, let me wipe those tears. I don't want to hurt you, my dear, and I feel like I'm about to do it at any moment. You won't. I know that, because you love me. Yes, Kitty, I do love you very much. Fran, remember what I told you. If you love, you are alive. And that is the only thing that matters. You will always find the power to fight those monsters in you. Now, let's go and open that gate so you can go home. Yes, yes, let's do this. Oh. Here we are. Yes, but where's the door? Oh, right. I have to make it visible. But, are you sure you want to go back? I'm sure, sir. Alright, here we go. The human must leave, open the secret door into her reality. Let the human return home. Oh, wow. We are going home, kitty. Oh, I love the wizard. Ho ho ho, Liar, the king. Good day to you. I brought the stones so this lovely creature can go home. Thank you, sir. I'm very nervous. It will be strange to be far away from all of you. From you all. Then don't leave. I can make you a place to stay. A very magical place. Wizard, she has to leave. I received a message from w one of the Velocus. And she is not ready. Oh, I see. What are you talking about? Ready for what? Come on, wizard. Place the stones. We have no time to lose. But ready for what? Do you know what the block has told you about facing your truth? Ah, uh, yes. I think I remember. Well, should I? Yes, go ahead, wizard. Sir. Magic stones create the lock that only the human can break. Well, now it's time for Fran to be the key. You're the only one who can open this now. Oh, wow, alright, let's see. Oh, dumb. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Here we go. I smell victory. Again! You did it, Fran. You can go home now. I'm so excited. Oh, I wish I could leave you something so you can remember me. We won't forget you. You're a very special creature. Oh, I almost forgot. P Patrona. I keep almost calling him, like, Patronus. <laughs> Palantris gave me this for you. Oh. Oh, thank you. Tell... Tell him that I wish I could help him with his wounds. I gave my aid patches to a girl in the hospital. But anyway, I'll tell him. And don't worry, Patron Palantris <laughs> is better now. Oh my god. Oh, oh, before you go, you must know. Before you return to your reality, you will go through the second, uh, the secret woods. The woods are a kind of invisible passage between our realities. And you may encounter terrible creatures that want to eat you. But just run. They are quite slow. And you are telling me this now? Uh, now? Huh? That sounds very scary. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Hee <laughs> hee, I hope so. Well, Mr. Midnight, say goodbye. Let's go now. Goodbye, gentlemen. I had a great time. I, I like you very much. Goodbye. Aww.
Oh, it's a troll. I thought it was a witch. Alright, so that was Fran Bow. Chapter 3, Part 3. Thankfully, we are done <laughs> with that chapter. I really love the chapter. I really love the the Thirstians. I, I just loved it. I love the little root people and the, the insects. It was really cool. I liked it. Um, all the little things we had to do was kind of annoying because the chapter was very, very long. But other than that, I, I just really love this game. It is pretty dark and I'm just into stuff like that, honestly. But um, it's a really good game. I love it so far and I hope you do too. So um, yeah, if you do, please give this video a like. Um, check out my previous videos of Frambo and, you know, just in general. And um, yeah, if you haven't uh, subscribed already, please do so. So until next time. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.